communication device. It was bugged? We're not sure. A chip. Peter thinks it was his connection to Mosaic. That's their communication network. According to Dr. Weir, yes. Whatever it is, ever since we removed this thing, the infiltrator's been less aggressive, more morose. Interesting. And what do we know about the target? How do we know we can take them out in one strike? Weir's been studying their transmissions, and he believes they're coming from a single source. Mars! This mosaic thing they talk about? Yes. All aliens come from Mars. Prove that it's some sort of central command, possibly even a single being. And if our tests are correct, it is indeed more than just some sort of radio network. How so? After studying the infiltrator's implants and physiology, we believe it connects directly to the minds of the outsiders. So if we take out Mosaic's core, we shut down every outsider on this planet. That's the idea. But we need to know more. All right, and what's that ship capable of? That's an impressive flying saucer you've built. Actually, the Air Force was already toying with a prototype like this. Our German associate just made a few modifications, including everything we could steal from the outsiders. How does it handle? When it's finished, it'll be faster and more maneuverable than anything in the skies. But can it take on one of their battleships? In a head-to-head -head fight? No. But it won't need to. Watch. Nifty little trick. Dr. Dresner is particularly what? proud of that one. He's been invaluable to the project. What did he do? We dubbed the craft the Avenger. Can I get through those Ven gates of theirs? That's what we need you to find out. He said watch and I didn't see anything happen. Was he just saying like watch and wait? I, I, I have no clue what just happened. I'll see what I can get out of the infiltrator. Good. We've got him in a containment center in the lab. Built especially. Yeah, for they him. do that Guys too. Luxury suite, huh? That ought to soften him up. Don't count on it. How gentle do I need to be? Just be careful. He's the only captive we have. Interrogate him. Right. Where are the loads? They're all auto saves. Is there a way to hard save? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Way is it to the lab? I think it's beyond here. No, I'm serious. Oh. Decontamination. Oh, are those notes? There you go. Autopsy report. Muton. Weighing over a quarter ton, these walking tanks are either the product of extreme physical mutations or countless generations of eugenic breeding. Dubbed mutons, these devastating enemies are heavily armored and equipped with scatter lasers. Agents are advised to keep their distance and focus fire on a single target to penetrate the creature's defenses. Their impressive physiology is further augmented by an array of implants, but these do not include the same, le uh, same neural relays found in Outsiders. With neither the hierarchical communications of the outsiders nor the coerced submission of the sectoids, it appears that mutons are engaged as mercenaries in the enemy's forces. But without an understanding of their payment or motivations, humanity has little chances of being able to employ these powerful forces or sway their loyalty. Enemy infiltrator. Subject... Is to receive double guard at all times, and visitors are not authorized without director level permission, and even then only under strict observation. Although the subject has not demonstrated an ability to cloak since its surgery, subjects are still uh, considered a high escape risk. Similarly, despite marked decrease in aggression since surgery, subject is considered extremely dangerous. Although the infiltrator is technically considered a prisoner of war, the outsiders are not a known signatory of the Geneva Convention. As such, the standard POW protections are not extended to it. There he is in that other room. I think I would like that. I think I would like that very much. You are Dr. Heinrich Dresner, correct? Yeah, Mr. Folk. And do you understand why I am interviewing you today? Officially or unofficially? None of this will be in the final records of your immigration. Oh. Officially. Our commitment to Yalta. He adopted him into XCOM.
Calm yourself, Doctor. The rationality will not help us identify enemy infiltrators. Oh, commander. Leaders of the Outsiders' forces. These commanders exhibit the same physique of other Outsiders, but have significantly more complicated neural implants, as well as much more advanced equipment. Personal shielding is common, and many of the other tactical abilities may be available to these dangerous enemies. Engines are advised to make commanders a top priority in any engagement. Commanders do not exhibit the same poor living conditions of their subordinate grunts. Nutrition is plentiful and physical trauma is minimal. And many out and many commanders carry personal effects into battle. These appear to be devotional items, perhaps involved in religious ceremonies centered around their origin. The precise details of this origin are still being examined by Dr. Weir, but it is believed to be the communication network utilized by the outsider's neural implants. Tests serve to protect them, but after all, they are all volunteers. Maybe, but we're still not certain of what side effects. Ah, William, welcome, Parker. Yeah, there's really nothing in here. Dr. Veer would love to give you a tour. This guy's randomly standing here. Yes, of course. I'll just leave Heinrich to his tests. What's this? Sectopod. While not a living alien species, the sectopod poses a new danger. Standing 20 feet tall, this heavily armored fighting robot is equipped with heavy weapons atop multiple all-terrain legs that can be used as impromptu melee weapons. Sectopods are controlled by a living sectoid encased and sustained within the armor. These pilots are unable to leave the sectopod. In many cases, their containment tanks are welded shut and may actually be a carefully bred subspecies developed solely for the for this purpose the pilots loyalty would have to be unquestionable and while they do not wear the slave collars of their brethren they bear significantly more intrusive neural implants where they test all the stuff All right, I think it's time to talk to this Infiltrator's alien. Infiltrator's right inside, Agent Carter. If you need anything, just ask. I see you gave up on the disguise. Done playing dress up? This one can no longer hide. Those systems were corrupted by your scientists. Yeah, gloat all you want about your superior technology while well, we've got you tied to a chair with Yeah, a motherfucker! You want revenge for your fellow warrior. Go ahead and Welcome to it. America. Nothing you do will stop the Zujari. We're gonna pay a visit to your home, and you're gonna help us get there. A counter invasion. Ha! The more you resist Mosaic, the more you will bring death to your world. You think you have seen our strength? This is just an expeditionary force preparing the way for our armies. We will destroy you. We'll see about that. It's simple. You will join our empire, or you will die. For us, there are no other choices. All right, start the questioning. Our white coats say there's been a change in your attitude ever since they yanked this device out of your head. I want to know what the hell it is. It is many things. A shield, a beacon, our focus. It is mosaic. Without it, we are... I am alone, unsure, impure of thought. What exactly is Mosaic? You would think of it as a broadcast, a network. Okay. Each of us are connected to it. Simple enough. It unites us. That's how you receive your orders. Our orders, our faith. Mosaic delivers truth, or perhaps what Origin decides is the truth. What do you mean? Why don't you just do yourself a favor? Just talk straight to me and tell me about this Origin. Maybe we can help you. You are more civilized than would be expected. Yeah, I'm not going to start beating him up. <laughs> creatures. It's not a weakness. Nothing is as I thought. Nothing is as Origin told us. Listen, I'm fighting for the survival of my entire race here. Give me something to work with, or you'll find out what I'm willing to do for my world. You have already seen what we are willing to do for our own dying world. What Origin has forced us to do for our world. 